Nine years ago, Steve McAllister noticed a pain in his breast. Alarmed, he knew he had to see a doctor. I knew men could get breast cancer, um, but you, you, know, you certainly don't think it'll ever you know, affect you. But it, it sort of, um, it was a weird sensation being told that I had breast cancer. I was going on holiday to Turkey and I had um, pain in my nipple. So I thought I better go before I go to Turkey. And my GP thought, well, to be on the safe side, um, I'll organize a, a mammogram for you when you come back. The test confirmed cancer on his right breast. We followed him as he underwent surgery to remove it, only weeks after his first visit to the doctor. I don't know what the outcome would have been if I'd have waited um, or if I didn't have a mammogram on this side and it wasn't picked up at all, how long it would have been before it would have been a little bit late perhaps. So when I was diagnosed, I thought, oh, this is going to be quite, uh, quite bad. I don't know if I'll ever take my shirt off in public again. Um, but when I woke up in the morning after the surgery, it was such a neat scar. So we did about um, 15 shots. Steve's portrait forms part of a new campaign, highlighting people who've experienced cancer. I knew there were going to be 16 of us, um, male and female, and all different types of cancer as well. Um, so that was going to be interesting. And then about a week later, I saw the results, which I was really pleased with mine particularly. They may have different scars or their bodies may feel different to how they did before. And for them, it's really about embracing what they, they look like now. And that's what the Stand Up To Cancer campaign is all about. It's about showing that strength against, against this disease. I've always sort of embraced the idea that this is me, I'm a survivor. Um, and that's the key issue. But I do, you know, people say, oh, you know, what, what have you, you know, had there? Have you been in a in a war conflict or whatever. <laughs> so no, I've had breast cancer, wow, you know, and everyone's a bit wowed. And, and a lot of people still don't know that men can get breast cancer. They were the first. Clear of cancer and in good health, Steve has campaigned ever since, sharing his own experiences and urging others to be vigilant. Mike Griffiths, ITV News.